Wait a minute, this video is what? Hello everybody, my name is Evolve Pixel and welcome to this new video, very very new type of video. Um, yeah, you, you read right, um, don't worry, I haven't lost a plot. Probably. <laughs> uh, but yes, I am indeed doing an airfix model. Why am I doing an airfix model? Why, why is that a thing I'm doing? Well, originally this wasn't going to be that at this video at all. This was going to be something different. I, I found an old crystal growing kit and I thought, well, I'm not going to sell it because it's, it's too big and it's old, so it may not even work. I thought, well, I'll, I'll do it. I'll make a video about it. I looked into I looked into thought doing it and like half the stuff is missing. I don't know where it's gone. Um, the instructions are one of the things that's missing, along with quite a few other bits. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking these are volatile chemicals. I'm not messing with them if there's missing stuff and I don't know what I'm doing. So abandoned immediately. <laughs> so I thought, well, what else could I do? You know, anything that's here and that I can do here that I don't need to go out for because. You know, I don't really have time. I didn't plan for having to go out for anything. And so I thought, well, I have these. I have a few of these, actually, hanging around. You know, old ones that were sort of bought for me by family members or friends of the family, you know. You know, usually by older people who thought that I would get a real kick out of them. And the problem is, once upon a time, they would have been for kids. But I don't think kids these days have the attention span. I sure as hell didn't, you know. I have like three half completed ones when I was a kid because I had people in my family say, oh yeah, you'll love this, it'll be great. And I, I never did it, I never finished it, you know. And so I thought, you know, I own, I own these, you know, I own these sort of completed sets. They're here, they exist, there isn't any point in trying to sort of sell these or get rid of them. So... Why don't they give it a go and see what happens? Because, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, people these days have no skills with their hands because they didn't do anything. I hear that from people like 50 and 60 say that. Um, I must admit, I, I don't... I'm rubbish with my hands. I have no... I, you know, I, I have no manual labour skills at all. And so I thought, yeah, why not? Let's give it a go. Let's see if I can make a decent video out of it. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Maybe I'll fail miserably. I guess we'll find out soon. I don't even know how this video is going to work, but we'll see. So, my original plan was to actually do the commentary live, and in fact, for the first few minutes of this, I did indeed do a live commentary. The problem is, is it ended up taking quite a while. I mean, it's about 27 minutes worth of footage. And, like, the end result, like, what gets achieved out of the 27 minutes worth of footage is not a huge amount. But, you know, if I do what I've sort of done here, which is speed it up, you know, three times, it's about eight minutes of footage. Three times? Maybe it was less than 27. The, the point is, the point I'm trying to make is I, I wasn't exactly as, as quick as I could be. There were problems. There were things sort of falling off. Uh, something I had definitely forgotten about Airfix is just how fiddly it is. I suppose... In my head, I was thinking, like, well, yeah, you know, kids used to do this. It's like, yeah, kids used to do this when they were given skills in how to do stuff like this. And they knew what they were doing. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, you know, I am i don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just guessing. I don't have all the proper tools. I really could have used a knife, which I don't have. And uh, I'm going to give a heads up now and say I could have done the camera work a lot better than I did. But honestly... I'm quite new to obviously this type of video. This is literally my first video. I try to look into sort of how other people do it. Turns out there are entire channels devoted to this. Some of them with like 80,000, 90,000 subscribers. So it is a little community on YouTube, which I wasn't expecting. But even sort of finding that out, it was like, yeah, I couldn't work out really a good way to film this you know a lot of how they have a sort of professional setups with like a camera mount over i haven't got that i haven't got access to that so this was really the best angle i could get because you can see there are issues but basically what you have here 
is this set is split into two parts. The vehicle and the artillery gun. Basically what I'm working on here is kind of the base for the vehicle. Specifically what I'm trying to do is put seats in. You can see there's two very badly put there seats. Oh my god, I could have done that so much better than I did. Uh, I'm happy to say I'm looking at the finished version now. Well, yeah, kind of finished. I'm not going to spoil it. But I'm looking at the version that I did earlier that's kind of sitting next to me. And I can proudly say that he looks better than uh, what you're seeing on screen right now. But, uh, yes, uh, for some reason, I don't understand quite why, but for some reason with this set, there are six seats in the vehicle and yet only one person. Now, I'm not criticising them for having six seats at the end of the day. This is a replica of a real-life vehicle. I believe a real-life World War Two or one. Um, no, two. Vehicle. So, of course, they're right in terms of how many seats it would have. My complaint is, why is there only one person to go in it? Surely you had a six-seat vehicle, you would have six people in it. But then again, I suppose they do give us, I think, you know, four or five different uh, men. So maybe, maybe that's it. I, but I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, what, am I, what do I know? But as you can see, I've kind of got it up to four seats. The, the other two seats are a bit odd in the fact they have no back, uh, which... I don't know, on a military vehicle seems like an absolutely terrible idea, having no backing on a seat in a military vehicle. I mean you can you can see them there. Uh, they're not they're not that's not good when you think about it. I mean yeah, you can sit on a seat with no back, but you think like something like this, you know, this could take tank fire, this could take sh you know, shell fire, I mean you could hit near and strike to if you got no back, well, you wouldn't have a back after that happened. I mean, you would be absolutely uh, sort of talking about a back. That's actually what I'm doing right now. I'm putting a back on the uh, vehicle. And, of course, one of the seats fell off. You'll notice this is a trend of things falling off. This is something we're going to have uh, regularly. Also, ignore the Coleman's apple sauce. I didn't even know if that was there. That's basically just an empty jar for water for painting. Uh, I don't know why that's so in shot. That wasn't meant like that. Oh well, I can't actually reshoot the footage. But uh, I, I, I do like how this turned out for the most part. I think it could have turned out a lot better. I, I wasn't that conscious about camera positioning until more sort of towards the end, which um, was a little bit late, if we're being honest. But you can see there, like we've got the six seats in. We've got a back to the vehicle. It's actually looking a little bit like a vehicle now uh when we add the sort of final two pieces you'll notice that yeah uh, yeah it gets really a lot more like a vehicle but again you're kind of seeing me not being conscious of where the camera is and just sort of forgetting but we have actually put one side on now so i'm guessing the next bit is just the other oh no of course there were problems because of course there were problems of course it didn't stick properly, and of course I didn't really keep an eye to where things were. But, but basically, yeah, it's a case of basically putting glue on the sort of... Sometimes there's some obvious bits sticking out where it goes. I mean, you can see there on the wheels, there's a little nib sticking out. There's also one in the middle that's not so easy to see. That's very obvious. It's really about using the right amount of glue on the edge, sticking them together and just waiting. Don't do use too much. Because if you do, that becomes visible. I have actually done that a little bit on this, looking at it with my own hands now. There's cases where I've done that. But it has, all in all, I think, come out pretty darn well. But you can see there's one little uh, side to it. And we'll get the other one off. Where have you gone? Where have you gone, hands? Chris, what are you doing? There we go. Yeah, this one, I don't know what it was about this one, but I have found this before with Airfix. It's like when you've got like, this two sides, getting the first side on is easy, I suppose because like the rest of the parts sort of conform to it. But getting the other side on when like, like that back bit is perfectly trapped between the two, like it didn't want to go. It did not like me at all. It really required a bit of, bit of oomph, a bit of uh, well, and also a bit of fiddling around. And you may notice here, uh, I'm now fixing a seat. <laughs> I told you they keep falling off. I couldn't help it. But uh, I got plenty of glue in. I, I can say now that the glue is dry. So 
we are nice and safe with that. But I believe we are coming up to the end of this clip. So there is the sort of... I mean, it's not the finished vehicle, quite clearly. But it is starting to resemble a vehicle, isn't it? You know, you've got the seat, you've got the back, you've got the sides, you've got the wheel arches. I mean, it's starting to look like an actual vehicle. But really, there's one more thing I need to do before this video is finished. And I'll explain why I'm not doing any more, you know, in the next clip. But there's one more thing that this thing is need, and that is, of course, a driver. Because what does every vehicle need? A driver. What does this specific vehicle need? A driver. So, we have him there, then we put glue on him. See, look, this is where I'm like, I'm conscious of where the camera is. And I'm trying to, I'm not doing that great a job of it, if I'm honest, but I'm trying to make sure you can see what's going on. So, that's where he is, or rather that's how he is right now, that's how he stands right now. Now, I would like to do some more, but the combination of I need to wait for the glue to dry, coupled with I actually need to paint some stuff, including the little guy, but also some other bits. So, the limit to what I can really do today, I kind of expected to get a lot more done. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to do the whole assembly in one episode. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. But, that's where he is right now. And I quite like him, so... Join us next time when we get to part two. Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully see you very, very soon.